So, um, just wanted to touch base with you as school, um, metaphorically, reopens uh, after the March break. Although, you know, we're still at home for, for two weeks. So I hope that, you know, you're doing well. You know, you're practicing your safe social distancing. You know, you're touching base with each other. You know, you're uh, reading or, you know, taking that time to see something on Netflix that you haven't seen in a while. And, you know, you're um, at least, you know, growing during this opportunity. I always try to learn something new each day. And hopefully, you know, you do the same. So, uh, questions. When will school reopen? I, I, I really don't know. I don't think any of our teachers know. We haven't done this before, so we're all doing this for the first time, and we'll try to make the best of it. What mark will go on the April report card? Well, um, it uh, should be up until that reading and learning for understanding um, assessment. Uh, I can email you your mark. I'm pretty sure for this class it's exactly what was most recently printed on the um, on the wall, but if you email me, I can tell you. So, um, some changes. So, don't do the photo essay. Probably not the best idea with the social uh, isolation. Uh, if you've done it and you want to show it to the class, we can make some time for that, but you don't have to do that. Again, if you've done it and it looks really good, uh, I feel free, please show it to us, but do not do the photo essay if you haven't done it already. And then uh, and the next thing to work on is a Google uh, slide template. I've posted the first two days of content, and I um, will give you a quick overview uh, of that. But, you know, I, I would say, as teachers, we get a lot of Google slide presentations, and, uh, you know, we each teach, like I teach 193 students, and th there's a few common Google slide templates we see every single time, and it kind of, uh, it loses some impact. So what I'd like you to do is to think about how you could make something a little personalized. It'll make your presentation stand out a little more, it'll add that little well factor to it, and hopefully it'll show you part of Google Drive that you uh, were not familiar with. And now let's get to it. I'm in our Google Classroom. So you can see that I've just put into words, you know, uh, what I just uh, said. So no case study, no photo essay, but we'll work on the Google Slides assignment, which is an individual assignment. And some of the more how-to instructions, you know, uh, this is what we would do the first couple of days back, you know. So if you're working ahead, you know, going to be working on the idea of these uh, creating a slide template and you can see some of the visual aids a little video I made uh, for BTT and, and BTA classes uh, some extra tips in the st stream and if you're looking for this assignment under class class work under part three sorry part four because we're in March and April now slide template individual create a personalized slide template in PowerPoint. You know, um, I'm going to click on these instructions because one of the errors the last time was a failure for everyone in the class last year to follow the checklist. So please, when you do your slide template, check these boxes off. A title something for when you're displaying text, something for a section or chapter heading, something when you're going to show images and videos, and another layout of your choice. We're going to see at least five here. And uh, please, you know, ch check that off. Uh, a couple of them, you know, too many of them last year were just, say, the first two, really. We want five things, and they should all be you know, substantially different, just a cut and paste job won't result in optimal marks. Now to the instructions. A um, folder that has some separate presentations. And um, the reason that I often get asked to do and paid to do presentations is because it comes off as very um, professional and uh, customized to the audience. And I think slide templates are a small part of that. And I would like to show you things for different audiences. You know, here's one for uh, a basketball Canada audience. And you can see, okay, here's my title slide. 
main thing, you know, and I'm going with this orange and black. Here's my chapter heading, or in this case, to ask a question. Here is, you know, my uh, text slide. So you can see, you know, that I would have, you know, a dark, back, uh, dark background at the top. You know, I went with the uh, this font, you know, on all of it. The orange, the gray is all the same. You know, so that's an example of a text slide. Okay, so uh, how would you put a, um, you know, uh, an image? You know, so here I want a full size of my image. Sometimes you guys put the images in too small uh, space and it doesn't get showcased. So, you know, any time that I want to have a big, bold image in this presentation, uh, I have a slide for that. You know, if I wanted to show stats, uh, there's a, a statistic slide in the template and I can do, uh, I have one of those as well. You know, and uh, so um, it really allows me to customize it. And then whenever I wanted to add something to this slide, just under new slide with layout, you know, I have uh, a section title. I have, you know, big numbers. I have a blank slide if I want to pause. You know, I have my text slide. It's all there. And, you know, so, okay, say I want to add in, you know, another text slide, just text and body. And then all my customizations are already there. I just have to go and type it in. You know, I think it's a great feature to use. So, you know, here's one I did for some other teachers. And, you know, again, my title slide was different. I went with a more of a comic book theme and a, you know, a different font so that things would look a little more colorful. And it was all about bold colors and also the color blue with a complementary color of yellow. And so, you know, I had, you know, here's my, uh, my section heading, you know, using the uh, I took this from Slides Carnival, but sort of modified it to make it my own. You know, I'm here was my uh, text slide. You know, here is my video uh, slide. You know, here is, uh, you know, uh, something I would show if I wanted to show a big uh, image. You know, all of that is here. You know, here's my summary slide. You know, again, uh, it's all there if I wanted to, you know, add in a new, you know, uh, you know, for example, quote, just, you know, type it in there. And again, it has all of my formatting and it's good to go. And, you know, it, um, something like this, really works well for, you know, making each presentation stand out. Uh, I think you really, once you do your content, then you can pick the best way to lay it out. So you could say, okay, well, I don't have time to do all of that. Well, one cheat, slide carnival. Um, second cheat is just make it simple. Here's one that I made based on one image. I had one stock image that I liked. I had one font, you know, the font uh, Montserrat and this stock image of an old basketball court, and I made everything from that. So, you know, uh, here's what I mean by a um, text slide. So I under, you know, just sample, simple color, a line, same font. Here's for like a section headline, you know, again, just a big, like something simple, just a grayscale twist on that stock image, you know, here's my, uh, you know, slide for when I wanted to show a video and, you know, there's a big space for the video. It's super easy to do that. And, you know, it can also be, you know, quite easily modified. You know, for example, what, what I did one time, I didn't have a lot of time. I went to file, make a copy, entire presentation, you know, new slide, template, whatever the name is, wherever location you want. And you know, I just started changing things up. You know, so under format, sorry, slide edit master. You can see all your um all your types of layouts. I just started making, you know, small changes to the color, uh, just to the, uh, you know, 
layout you know this one i was was sort of a gold layout i switched the colors up you know i, I uh, you know i'm partial to the san antonio spurs their color scheme with that teal that pink that orange i made that my theme and after just you know you know changing it up you know background select a different image change up the font you know click here click and uh, change the color with a, just a small you know little um changes i was able to get something you know that was you know significantly different but it still looked unique and professional so again on the slide edit master and you can see just i told you we use a checklist so here's my title slide here's my section heading here's my text slide here's my slide to show a video here's my slide for a big image you know and i can put the big image in there Here's, you know, my uh, my list slide. I have all five items here. I even have a couple more. You know, I really just based it on a couple of images that I really liked. You know, it's, it's pretty much the same as the other one, just slightly different colors, slightly different uh, photo. And I think, you know, it makes uh, it stands out because I will never end up uh, submitting one uh, presentation or do a presentation where someone will say, hey, that looks exactly like what i what i do how, what, how i do my presentation it's always going to be a little unique and a little different and i think you know it's worth the while so you can uh, look through these and you know it's, there's a video under the april 7th um slide with more details on exactly how to do it but it's pretty much hey you know make a new google slide you can do blank you know, or from a template, Slide Carnival has lots of great templates. And then Slide, Edit Master, and just start doing all the customization of fonts and colors and images that you'd like.